Welcome back. I wanted to make this video because someone asked if you are able to scan large objects with a Creality Otter when you are tethered to your phone as opposed to tethered to the, your desktop. Uh, and the answer is yes. And to make an example of that, since it's cold and snowing in Michigan, instead of going outside and scanning a car, I thought I would scan this love seat that we have laying around. So I put the scanner in the geometry mode fast and turn the spotlight on just because the lighting isn't real great in there for this. And in real time it took about 15 minutes just scanning at a casual pace. Um, obviously it's sped up here just to make it easier to watch. Uh, but it was pretty easy to scan uh, as a whole. Uh, you can see I go back and forth on the screen to make sure that I've got everything scanned in the red or at least most of it. Uh, and then once I'm done with that I wind up sharing it to the computer by scanning the QR code because it's much easier to deal with these files on the desktop as it is on your phone, especially for the larger files. So we'll look through at the point cloud optimization uh, just real quick. And since it seems pretty reasonable uh, and I don't need the highest of resolution, I'll just put it the uh, sensitivity, kind of the middle setting, and we'll let it run through and think for a minute and then taking a look it seems to have captured most of the texture fairly well uh, and to save a little bit of time and computational power I'm going to take out the stuff that's not of interest before I mesh uh, just so it, that it's not meshing things that I don't really care about and it's it's pretty quick inside of the software here you can see you just select the items that you don't want and then you can delete and it's uh, it's pretty easy it's pretty straightforward um, Usually I'll use the invert tool a lot where you can select the object that you're interested in and then delete everything else, which is pretty convenient, but not in this situation. So now I've gone through and I've turned the point cloud into a mesh and you can see again all the detail looks pretty good just moving around. Yeah, there's a few areas that I, I missed with a scanner that have a, a hole, but um, for this it's pretty good. And just for the fun of it, decided to try the Mesh Smooth feature, which is pretty new to the software. Uh, and it smooths things out a little bit. And uh, I always like to do a simplification also. And the file starts out about 200 megabytes. And through just clicking a, a few buttons here, we're able to get it down to about 20 megabytes, which is much easier to deal with and manage if I wanted to after the fact for any reason. And here's the color map. So uh, you can see, again, the, the lighting wasn't very good in there, and the, the camera's not really spectacular for that. But it gives you a good general idea of what I was scanning and what I was working with. But uh, what I like about the scanner is, uh, I mean, I'm going pretty fast with it. I'm not being overly careful, and still it can capture quite a bit of detail. Uh, and tethering yourself to the computer, though it performs better, is not always the most convenient. So it's very nice being able to scan while connected to your phone and being mobile, uh, which is what we did here. So if you have any more questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you.